What's up guys, today we are gonna dive into click magic and ask the question, do you really need it for your business? Hope you're ready, because I know I am. Let's do it. All right guys, I'm excited about today's video because I get to tell you the biggest mistake I made in the first nine months of my online business. I lost so much money and an unbelievable amount of time because I was not properly tracking my links and tracking my business. But we'll talk about that in just a second. Just in case this is your first time here on the channel, welcome, my name is Jake. The purpose of this channel is to help Christians achieve financial freedom so they can more effectively fulfill the mission to which God has called them. If you're a believer or if you just love passive income, I hope you'll consider subscribing. That being said, we are gonna jump into my computer and we're gonna talk about click magic. All right, guys, so as I told you, this has been by far the biggest mistake I made in my online business. Even yesterday, I got four sales and I had absolutely no idea where they came from because for nine months, I didn't track anything in my business. I had got links all over the internet, Quora, uh, Reddit, Pinterest, Facebook, all over the place. And if those links make sales, I just don't know. I don't know what to optimize. I don't know what's working and what's not because I didn't properly track my links from the beginning. If you're, if you're an experienced marketer, if you've had a business for any extended period of time, I think Click Magic is an absolute no-brainer. I've only had it for a week so far, and I've been geeking out on this. I love it so much. Um, but if you've been in business for a while, I don't even think this is an option. I think it's something you have to have, and it's going to return tenfold for your business. If you're new, we'll get into this a little bit. Maybe you can wait on it, but I would encourage you to think about buying it even today. Uh, or at least starting the trial even today, so you don't make the exact same mistake I did. I've spent now over 20 hours trying to go back through old links and replace them, but there are still links I can't find, and I'm still not finished even with the ones I know about. So it helps a lot to do this upfront instead of waiting nine months when links are already all over the place. But that being said, I'm actually going to start with this page right here. Uh, what you're going to see, this when you go down into the description of this video, this is going to be the very first link you see. I encourage you to go check it out because they are gonna cover a ton of the features. You'll see the amount of features that ClickMagic has is ridiculous. In fact, it's, it's probably the only negative you ever hear about it, is there are so many features that people don't know what to do, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But I'm gonna encourage you to go down to this link and watch this video right here, because they're gonna go into some features that I'm not gonna be able to cover, because maybe they're outside of my specialty and what I actually need ClickMagic for, because the features that they have are crazy. So go check out that video as soon as we're done here. So that being said, let's jump into the back office of Click Magic. So the first thing I want to hit on is what has become the most important thing for me with any software that I use, and that's the support. Uh, I know that's a weird thing to start with, but when you get a software like Click Magic that is so robust, that has so many things going on, this becomes useless if they don't have a good support. So it's actually one of the things that has blown me away. So depending on which package you start with, they have a live chat support, which is always a big deal for me. They have a help desk support, and they also have phone support. So literally they will get in touch with you uh, in whatever way you need it. So because I'm on the basic package, all I have at this point, I think I had the phone as well, but I also have uh, this support desk. Um, and they have always gotten back to me within about two to three hours, which is really impressive. I even emailed them at two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I have some late nights. And they email me before 4 a.m. So uh, what I really love about this is this little video you're seeing on the screen here. He is telling you all the things to include in your support ticket so they can send you one email and fix everything. They are so intentional about trying to be effective with their support. So they have, they've really blown me away. They might be the best support I've seen from a company, and I've worked with a lot at this point. Um, so I kind of brag on them there because I think they do a very, very good job. If you get one of the higher packages, obviously, then you also have uh, access to this live chat support, which again, they would do just as effectively. So that's a really big deal. And the other thing I want to highlight very, very quickly before we get into the features is this knowledge base. Now, a lot of sites have these. I very rarely use them, but again, because this software is so robust and so many things are going on and it has so many features this is incredibly essential. I have yet to find a single question that they don't answer in their knowledge base. They have videos for most of them and text for all of them. Um, so you can literally ask anything. Maybe you look up here and say, I don't know what a rotator is. And I, you can see, I, I checked this just a second ago. What is a rotator? And then you have rotator, everything you need to know. And it literally gives you everything you could possibly need to know about that topic. So 
Their knowledge base is really, really good. I haven't had a single issue trying to figure out stuff, even though the one negative is it's, it's so complex and so many things going on. So if that's a negative you hear, to me, it just hasn't been an issue because of how good of a job they do with their support and with their knowledge base. Now let's jump into some features. Let's start with the basic tracking links. Uh, this is really what I thought I needed going into this. This is uh, really all I thought I was going to do. And the farther I've gotten into it, the more excited I've gotten about other features, which is why you can tell I'm so passionate in this video. Uh, so let's start with a very basic tracking link. Uh, like I said, I, I made these about a week ago. Um, I was going out of town for a week and I had just uh, started my trial. So I wanted to go ahead and make a few just so I had a little bit of a sample size uh, for myself and to show you guys. So we'll look at any of these links. We'll, we'll just pick the first one, this 12 minute affiliate link. So you'll see the tracking link is right here. What I did is I wanted to buy a custom domain. So you can use their domain, which is this CLKMG uh, with your username, which mine is Jake the three. So you can use uh, that from them or you can buy your own custom domain. I wanted to have one that was different than my actual site. So I already own jakethornhill.com. So I bought jakethornhill.net. So all of my tracking is in a separate domain. And if someone just goes to jakethornhill.net by itself, it redirects back to jakethornhill.com, which just works perfectly for me. So you'll see uh, that custom domain will be the same on all of my links. And then I get to add in this slug. For this one, it's 12-minute affiliate. And it, and it redirects someone to that link because who is ever on God's green earth going to click on a link that looks like that? Hopefully no one because that's a terrible looking link. Um, but when I show them jakethornhill.net backslash 12 minute affiliate, it's a clean, good looking link that people will be willing to click on. So one of my favorite features so far is something called sub IDs. So let me give you an example. Uh, let me see a good one to show you. Let me close that. We'll do this one right here. I believe there's a good, good amount. So actually let's, let's start by, by creating one and then I'll go into sub IDs. So if you're going to create a link, you literally go here where it says, create a new link. This box pops up for you. You can group your links. Um, so for me, let's, for example, I have a lot of legendary marketer links. So I have all those within a specific group. So now these are all of my legendary marketer links. Uh, maybe you get to link group and you say, Jake, I don't know what a link group is. That's super confusing. Perfect. Almost all over their site, they have this little green question mark right here that you can click. And now they're going to tell you, oh, here's what a link group is, and you can click this button to create a new one. Um, you will see these little question marks all over the site. Uh, maybe you get to this right here, and you say, Jake, I don't know what any of those stand for. Perfect. Click Magic is going to show you what every single one of them stands for. Again, pe people complain that, that it's too much information, um, or that's like the one negative, but I think they do such a good job explaining whatever you have a question about. So you're going to put uh, whatever link you want to put this into. So we'll say, for example, I'm going to do ClickFunnels. So I have a ClickFunnels free trial link. Um, so ClickFunnels, you'll see how I actually already did these, but ClickFunnels free trial. I give the link a name. I switch to the custom domain. ClickFunnels, and you'll see I, I use this, but we'll just do ClickFunnels free. And then I would go in right here and I would put my affiliate link or whatever link that you want to send them to, whether that's a bridge page or something else. And as soon as you do that, you push create link and boom, ready to go. There's my link for ClickFunnels free trial. I give someone that link and then it tracks everything for me. So I went to mention just a second ago, um, sub IDs. So let me show you guys these. This has been one of my favorite features so far. Uh, sub ID stats. So what you're going to see is this right here, the URL. So again, all of these, I just put them into YouTube. I haven't gotten uh, into my emails and all the other places yet because I have a lot of links out online. But this link right here, let's say I went to give this link out to somebody. So I typed in jakethornhill.net backslash online business. Well, Let's say I put this link on my YouTube channel. So what I would want to do next is type in backslash YouTube. So what that is doing is creating the very first sub ID. So what I do is I have the actual link and then my first sub ID is always the traffic. So backslash YouTube or backslash blog or backslash email or backslash Facebook. Fair enough, right? 
So we'll use YouTube for this example because that's what you're going to see in mine here in just a second. And then we can create a second sub ID. You can do as many sub IDs as you want. So we're going to do another backslash. And for me, I'm doing specific videos because not only do I want to know that they came from YouTube, I want to know exactly which video on YouTube they came from. So um, name of video. So when I look at jakethornhill.net backslash online business, I'm going to be able to see all my sub ID number ones and all my sub ID twos. So maybe you want to go one deeper, which is what I'm about to do. I haven't done this one yet. But if you look in some of my descriptions, I'll use some sometimes the same link three or four times. Well, I'd like to know, are people clicking on the first one or the second or the third? Or maybe they're going all the way down to the bottom of my description and clicking on the fourth link. Um, so I could do one, two, three, four, just to see how far down people are going and actually clicking on the link. Because if no one's clicking on my fourth or fifth link, Maybe that's not really a helpful place to put a link because no one's seeing it, no one's clicking on it. So you can do so many different tests and variables depending on where your traffic is coming from. So let me show you this on this end. So if I want to look at my sub IDs, I'm going to go to 15 day challenge online business and click sub IDs. All right, so you'll see sub ID one. And again, that pulls that up. Didn't mean to do that, but sub ID one. And you'll see the only sub ID one I've created right now is YouTube just because I haven't had time to get all these out. But here are all, or here are some of uh, the links that have been clicked on so far. So you'll see um, it's coming from YouTube. And then the sub ID number two, which video? So this one is Spencer Meekum's Affiliate Secrets Review. So I did a review on his program. Uh, on his affiliate course, and I've gotten five clicks from that so far. Here's a specific video, and I've gotten one click there. And the reason this is interesting is because now I can see maybe I'm doing a different call to action. Maybe I'm doing something different in those videos that is encouraging people to click on the link. So for this one, for Spencer Meekums, I actually did a review on his course, and then within it said, okay, his course is for this group of people, but maybe that's not who you are. Maybe uh, you are just now starting an online business and you don't know anything yet, a better idea for you is to go click on this link for Legendary Marketer, which I do recommend because it's exactly how I got started. And if you haven't created an online business, that's always where I recommend people to go because of how much success I've had with it. Um, so I made that kind of call to action in this video. So some people have gone to Spencer's link, but some have said, you know what, I am new. I do want to start an online business. So they've gone here. And clearly that call to action is done pretty well. Um, so again, it, it's all about testing and seeing what's working. So you have the ability to do sub IDs and you have a limitless uh, possibility there. Another thing that's really important, and you're going to see this one is really bad, is traffic quality score. If you are buying solo ads, um, actually, if you're, you're paying for any type of paid traffic, this is super important. Because if you're spending money and all of your traffic is tier three clicks, like you're getting very, very bad traffic, you need to stop spending money wherever you're spending it because you're not going to make money on that. So just in case, maybe you say, Jake, I don't know what it was, a tier one click, a tier two, a tier three, question mark right beside it. And it explains to you the best traffic comes from these countries, the second best there. And these tra these countries just don't produce good traffic. So that quality score is very important, whether you're running Facebook ads, solo ads, AdWords, whatever, you want to know the type, the quality of traffic that you're getting. This one's not as big a deal for me because it's on YouTube. I expect um, I expect some negative uh, traffic there, but that's okay because anyone can see a YouTube video and click on the link. But if that's a paid ad, I'd be very, very frustrated with that and, and I would uh, stop running that paid traffic. Uh, another thing, let's see if I wanna, I know you can look, and I don't have a very good example of this, but you can see exactly which countries are purchasing, where those clicks are coming from and all of that. Let me see what else I've got for you. The next thing I want to hit is campaigns. So there are actually two ways that you can track a funnel. I should have set this up um, on my digital products instead of on an affiliate funnel. Uh, but as soon as I got this, I just went straight in. So when you come to campaigns, um, again, they do a great Hi, job. my name is Steve, and I'd like to introduce... Here's a video explaining what a campaign is and how you can set it up, and they do a great job explaining that. Um, so this specific campaign for me is my funnel uh, on TikTok. So you'll see right here, I can go to funnel steps report. 
and I can see how many people are going to my landing page from that TikTok link, how many people are opting in, 25% of these people are opting in to my thank you page, and then 17% of this number are actually making it all the way to the sales page. So I, I can track each step of the funnel. Now there's another way to do this as well, campaigns is actually new. You can also go down here to where it says funnel setup, and you can track, it's, it's a little different, and you can go to the step-by-step -step tutorial that shows you how to do this. You can use either campaigns or funnel tracking setup tool to track an entire funnel and see what's going on there. So that's kind of how campaigns work. There, there's obviously a lot to it. I, I don't want to drown you guys in so much information, um, but this video is going to tell you all about campaigns, what all of these things mean, and there are endless opportunities for you to go into the knowledge base and get more information. Um, rotators. Now this isn't something that I use, but if you are a solo ad provider, I'm assuming you're already use, using these. I don't know how you could be a solo ad provider and not be using rotators. Pretty much every solo ad provider I've ever worked with uses click magic. Again, it's, it's just kind of a no brainer for them. Now I also want to leave this link down in the description. This is to a tracking guide that click magic provides. Um, so I wasn't, I, I mean, I was familiar with some of the basic aspects of tracking, but before I bought click magic, I read through this whole PDF. Let me actually pull up the PDF for you. Um, it's really good. These are the sections. Track, track it or die trying. Conversion tracking. These three things. Um, tracking affiliate sales. All of it. This guide will really help you give, give you an idea of the importance of tracking. So I'll leave that free PDF down in the description as well. So please go feel free to check that out. Download it and then just in your free time, check it out. Um, but yeah, that's Click Magic. If you have any questions about it, please feel free. Uh, to reach out to me at info at jakethornhill.com or down in the comments. I'll make sure to get back either way. I do highly, highly suggest going down in the description right now, checking out the link that is going to take you to their homepage. It's going to let you uh, start your 14-day free trial, but most importantly, it's going to let you look at this video, and they're going to go more in-depth on some features that I don't use um, that might be helpful for you in your business. Guys, I hope this video has been helpful. Um, I am incredibly excited about ClickMagic. I wish I had started nine months ago because it would have saved me a lot of time and a lot of money, um, but I'm excited to get started with it now. So feel free to reach out with any questions. I hope you guys will check it out. Uh, one, one other big thing about ClickMagic is I don't believe any of their competitors are even close, which is very, very unique about this software. Uh, almost every industry has a couple competitors that are doing about the same thing. There's no one competing with Click Magic. Let me give you one last thing. Almost forgot to talk about pricing, which would have been bad. So let me talk about pricing really, really quickly. So you're gonna see three plans. I've actually talked to people inside of Click Magic and I don't think the starter plan is gonna be around much longer. So if you are seeing this and you click in the link down in the description and you go and you see the starter plan is still available, I highly, highly, highly suggest getting it because it's not gonna be there very long. Um, and if you have it, you'll be allowed to grandfather in once they get rid of it. Um, now, when you get to the $67 a month plan, it just depends where you're at, right? If you've already started your business, this is a no-brainer. If you've established your online business marketing or any other type of online business where you're putting out links, I think $67 a month is a no-brainer because you are going to make that money back with the ability to split test and uh, track your links and focus your time and your energy on the places that matter, not to mention what you'll learn from your paid advertising. So to me, $67 a month is a no-brainer for a uh, someone who is already running their online business. If you're brand new, is the only place I'd say maybe you can wait. Um, but if you know you're going to stick with it, if you're going to stay consistent, if you were going to put in the time and the effort to make this business work, then I would go ahead and get it early. Um, you never know when they're going to bump you never know when they're going to get rid of a plan and bump up the pricing. Um, but even at $67 a month, even though it seems heavy in the beginning, uh, it will be so valuable to you in the long run. Don't get nine months down the road and realize you've made this massive mistake where you don't know any of your numbers or what any of your links are doing. Um, so maybe you, you say, okay, I'm not going to do it at the very, very beginning. But within a couple months, I highly suggest investing here in click magic i think is is an investment that is well worth the money well guys i hope this review has been helpful uh if you have any questions again info at jakethornhill.com or down in the comments and i'll be more than happy to answer any questions that i possibly can if you've enjoyed this video please do leave a like it helps me and it helps the youtube algorithm uh, also subscribe and hit the bell notification all of that helps me as a creator make more valuable content for you guys if there's any other content you want me to cover let me know down in the comments and I'll create that video in the very, very near future. 
My next video probably is going to be on Active Campaign. I'm switching from AWeber to Active Campaign, so you're going to want to see that one because it is a game changer for my business. All right, guys, I will catch y'all later. See you in the next video.